What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be my spoiler free review for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This is of course is the sequel to the 2016 film Doctor Strange. This is starring Benedict Cumberpatch of course in the titular role. Elizabeth Olsen. You have Benedict Wong back as well. Southchill Gomez, Rachel McAdams and some other individuals that I'm not going to name only because of the fact that there are a lot of surprises in the movie. But the film again is going to be part of Phase 4 at this stage in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I would say that the most important things to have watched prior to this movie i would say is wandavision of course and the original doctor strange as well as spider-man no way home so this is set after the events of spider-man no way home uh avengers in game i think i mentioned that but yeah those would be the most important things but if you're someone who just likes to go out of their way to watch the marvel movies without being up to date on a lot of the stuff going on in the universe you can still follow along pretty well but i will say that as someone who's watched some of those things the the impact of it all will be better from for, for you if you watch those other things that this relies on but the movie is revolving around Doctor Strange, who, with the help of mystical allies, both old and new, transverses the mind or traverses the mind-bending and dangerous alternate realities of the multiverse to confront a mysterious new adversary. It's directed by Sam Raimi, and it is written by Michael Waldron, and it has a score by Danny Elfman, who I will go into uh, some details on why I love this score so much later on. But as a whole, I would say that this movie is just Sam Raimi in he's he's just in his sandbox here just having fun it, it has same Ra sam raimi all over the place in the terms of how he is blending horror elements with the super superhero aspects of this narrative and for those of you who are fans of a particular horror franchise of his you definitely want to check this out i i just love how he blended horror elements into this movie i was a big fan of that i love how the narrative here for dr strange is or just the narrative in general is used to explore so many different character progressions and furthering certain plot points brought up in the original doctor strange like the aspect of time and how death makes life feel more important knowing that you ha that all you have is time uh so don't don't waste it i feel like that's a big theme here in this movie for a lot of these characters to learn to stop being victims and kind of take back their narratives as it pertains to sources of trauma that they have or just things that they aren't being able to get past i also love how it explores wanda in this in this film a little bit more digging into the fact of how for those of you who are familiar with the character and how she has dealt with so much loss throughout her life and how she basically uses that trauma as a way to cope and in, in respect to how she kind of takes that pain and causes pain to others that's like a basically a coping mechanism and i love how it continues to blur that line and kind of wonderfully depict how she's not a hero or a villain she's definitely somewhere in the middle and she's so troubled as an individual it's a very compelling narrative all, all in all because of who the villain is but what you do have here, I would say, is Elizabeth Olsen just outshining everyone in the movie. Even Doctor Strange himself, even Benedict Cumberpatch, I would say Elizabeth Olsen is just that. She's just that good in the movie. The movie has some incredible pacing as well. And when I say incredible pacing, I mean that there's moments where you are sitting down letting characters talk but the scene of them talking doesn't go on too long you instantly jump right back into the action the action scenes are all edited very well so they're easy to follow you have a new star in the making here with the introduction of america america chavez played by Chacho gomez who is incredible in what she brings to the table and how her narrative intertwines with the overall central conflict but i just love how this movie explores Doctor Strange and the fact that he is living with so much regret and he needs to learn to stop living with that. And it's a progression that they explore through the multiverse and how they keep jumping into all these different realities. And you're getting a chance to see these different variants and seeing how this source of weakness for you is also the source of weakness for the same strangers or for the strangers in these alternate realities and that's a way for him to learn to you know just let go of the past be content of where your life is taking you and move forward he learns to um it's basically a way for him to learn to stop being afraid to just move forward because he's he's stuck in the past i can say that maybe there's some people who are tired of the the love aspect that's explored here but i like how they had rachel mcadams character more heavily involved in the narrative this time around and how she was used to progress dr strange to where he ends up at at the end of the film uh 
I do also love how this movie is very character driven. Again, it is so character driven. I'm a big I'm a big person who loves character development. I'm a person who loves character development a lot. But I love how they again let Wanda just go wild in this movie. Wanda is on she's on a rampage. And when I say Wanda, of course I'm talking about the Scarlet Witch. This movie just does a great job exploring these characters, giving them a start and end point and letting them all have these endings that kind of put them in these positions that are completely different than where they started out maybe with wanda though it's the fact that we already know that there's so much pain within her it kind of lessens the threat that she holds but still she elizabeth olsen is the highlight here in this movie for me uh it also does a great job exploring this relationship that forms between strange and america because they have a bond due to their hardships and the way, again, this movie is just very heavily relying on its character development. There's also a lot of moments where with Wanda herself as the, or the Scarlet Witch, I should say, the monologues that Elizabeth Olsen gets to deliver, they're incredible. The chemistry on display between all the actors involved is, again, incredible. The performances across the board are incredible. The score featured throughout the movie, it is something that adds a lot of emotional weight to the film. It makes certain scenes more impactful. It allows you to become emotionally invested in what's being displayed what's being disclosed on screen to the characters sam raimi just does an amazing job directing it the cinematography is amazing i can say at times i did not like how obvious the cgi was but more for the most part you have a marvel grand spectacle with the visual effects department and doctor strange in the multiverse of madness did not disappoint i can see where people might think that hey they kind of didn't go as mad as they should have gone with a title like that but all in all i was not disappointed by this movie i thoroughly enjoyed it thought it had a lot of good things working for it specifically with the way it was written and how it explored these characters and the fact that it was so character driven and, and allowed this exploration through the multiverse to kind of shape where these characters ended up at by the end of the movie it was a great thing to see benedict was great as well in as dr strange it's nice to see him continue to, to progress into this hero this protector so i'll have to give it a eight out of ten let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video